Yep, making more pollen sub. Mixing it in a bucket because my mixer still had broke. Put brakes on the wife's pickup today because she ran them right down to nothing. But I uh, wanted to talk to you guys about Colony Dwindle. Um, I've had a conversation with a number of backyard beekeepers here in the last week or so about it. Uh, so we're we're told by the books and and most of the educational stuff out there that when a colony starts to decline and the queen isn't doing her job um, they'll supersede her they'll make a new queen and the new queen will come out kill the old queen and go get mated and everything will go on like it's supposed to um, it's not always the case and I believe in a lot of these colonies that we have that do okay in the spring and summer they're well they're all right but they seem to be struggling and you start coming into fall and you start really seeing it and they're just not building up and then you put food on them and they're not eating it um, I believe a lot of these are failing Queens and I have had experience with attempted super procedures where the queen would not allow it so when the queen hears the piping going on from the new queen before it emerges she goes up and stings it and kills it just like she would if she was a brand new queen and then they have to start another one and after they do this a couple of times without success the colony just loses its energy it, it knows it's failing it can't requeen things aren't going right and they quit really taking care of the brood very well they again they don't eat you know so if you're putting pollen sub on a on a hive unless you know they're barreling in with all kinds of fresh pollen they should be eating a pollen patty um, and the same with the syrup unless they're on a major flow they should be consuming syrup and there shouldn't be dead bees in the feeder. Um, if, if bees are dying in your feeder, it's because there's something wrong with them. They're weak. Um, I have feeders with nothing in them, no floats, no nothing, and no dead bees. I have other ones with all kinds of stuff for them to walk on that are full of dead bees. So one of the ways to, to test the queen is to put her in one of the little hair clips, um, capture her, and lay her up on the frames. If the bees don't come up to see her, um, she's not putting out many pheromones and they don't really like her. If, you know, in 45 seconds you can't even see the hair clip anymore, she, she's doing fine. So it's a way for us to, to test them, but it, you know, at this point in the, in the game, they're not probably going to make it through winter. They're just not strong colonies. The colony's lost its, its energy. So they either need combined or requeened. Um, and it's something you need to try to catch as early as you can so that you can fix it because they just they just go downhill um, and I'm, I'm certain that this is the reason that that they don't do it right now I've been in colonies where they were balling the queen and they had made super procedure cells and they were gonna kill her themselves before she had a chance to kill their new queen um, and those have a chance of success but some of these others I just think they're too docile um, to attack their own queen they're waiting for this new queen to come out and do it well then she never comes so anyway I, I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this the dwindling colonies and and what the, perp, the reason for it is um, and this is either my observation so if anyone else has made any other observations on these colonies and believes there's something else to it or something else altogether let me know um, and we'll try to figure this out because it the biggest thing this time of year is taking your losses in the fall right we're trying to figure out which of these colonies are not going to make it through to next year and not try to send them to next year right if, if you got a weak colony that's struggling and barely making it in the summertime they're in a whole lot of sense in in trying to get it to overwinter um, so these are the things that we're trying to grade right now and this is just one more tool you can use 
to uh, to to determine that. I, I had some last year at this stage, and I caged the queens and came back in a few days to do my combines, and a number of them hadn't fed the queen, and she was dead. So th there's the same the same principle that she's not putting on, out enough pheromones. They don't want her here, and they can't get rid of her. So. When they had an opportunity not to take care of her, that's what they did. So, in, anyhow, I hope this helps some people figure this out, and uh, we'll get back to work.